All right, this video I'm going to graph an accumulation function. Uh, create a text box that is uh, conditional, so that means that it's only going to show up in certain conditions which we're going to select, and then a show it hide button that links uh, both of these. So for either part B or maybe even for part C for most of your questions, you have to create what the actual function looks like. So what does this accumulation look like from this graph? So what I'm going to do is I've already defined my integral from uh, negative 1 to x, so you already have to have that defined. There's a previous video that shows how to do that. What I want to do is uh, create uh, a point that is defined based on how much area this is. So let me back this up a bit. So what I want to do is in the input bar, now my x coordinate is dependent upon my x value, and the, uh, the y coordinate, this um, g depends on how much area has been accumulated and how much area has been accumulated I have it defined as A so my Y coordinate, my output is this value so it's the X coordinate, the slider how much area has been accumulated and you hit enter and notice that this is now going to change depending upon the value of the integral so what, basically what it's doing is it's tracing if this is a first derivative graph, it's tracing what the function looks like. All right. So I want to go ahead and uh, click on this, change the object properties. I don't want to show it um, a label. I want to maybe change the, the color of it. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And now when I go ahead and animate this, if I right click on uh, trace and I animate my slider, it's going to trace what the function looks like depending upon what the area under the curve is alright so I'm going to let it let it do that so what I want to do is also uh, create a text that is conditional so initially my question was uh, find the value of x at which it attains its absolute minimum so it looks like its minimum is going to occur over at positive uh, 6 that's going to be the lowest point on this uh, curve so what I want to do is show only when it's around 6. So I go to uh, go ahead and go to insert uh, text. Now I'm going to start typing this up so you don't need to use the um, mathematical um, the text formula. You can just type this. You can say that the absolute minimum is at x equal to uh, 6. You go ahead and hit uh, enter. Now, by default, again, it's kind of small, so if you right-click on this, make it a little bit bigger, change the color of it. Now, you only want this to show up, really, to highlight when it gets close to 6. So what you want to do is go ahead and right-click again. And if you go to Advance, the condition to show the objects, basically, what you type in here will determine whether this is shown or not. So I only want it to show it when it's maybe between, let's say, 4.5 and, and 7. So what you can do is just almost like an if-then statement. Just put for my 4.5, if the x value is between that, it'll show it. And once you hit enter, it'll activate it. So now anytime it's not between 4.5 and 7 it's not going to show it but as soon as it gets between those values the text box will appear I hope there it is so anytime you're near you're in between 4.5 and, and 7 the uh, text box will appear to indicate that the minimum is going to be coming up pretty soon alright and the last thing you can do is uh, create a, a show hide that links all of this so you click on this let's call this part B and I want to link I want to link this point and what you can do to clear the drawing if you hit control F it'll clear whatever has uh, been traced so control F is what clears it and I want it to um, be linked with this button so go ahead and hit apply so now anytime I click unclick it, 
control F to erase it, it links up with that. Alright, and uh, that's it.